Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you a Windows privilege escalation method called always install elevated. So let's learn about the method first. Um, imagine a corporate environment. Employees will always want to install some applications to their machines and since they don't have local admin privileges, they have to ask from the admin. So. The admins are very busy and some of them are lazy so they don't want to give admin local admin privileges to these employees and they may not want to install the applications one by one so they just found a way for it uh, they write a very quick group policy to uh, allow uh, installing MSI files by system privileges so in order to do that, they have to change two values from registry. And in this way, user will not be prompted with a screen to um, enter the system credentials. So I already created an environment, Windows 7 machine, uh, and I have a shell from the low privileged user. And I'm going to show you how we can detect the vulnerability and exploit it. So let's get the shell and ask for who am I, low privilege user. So let's see the uh, privileges for the user. It only included in the users group and no other privileges. So in order to understand if we are vulnerable to this uh, exploitation method is checking out the re register value. For this, I'm going to say red query and we'll check two values. One of them is under HKLM, local machine, uh, well, software, and then policies, oops, policies, yes, Microsoft Windows installer, and I'm interested in the value of always install elevated. It shows one, this means it's enabled on the local machine I, and I'm also going to check out for the current user HKCU, the rest should be the same and yeah, it's also enabled. So this means this machine is vulnerable to always install elevated privilege escalation method. In order to do that, I'm going to exit the shell, background method for the shell and search for always install elevated module it's here we're going to use it by setting the session number four and then we'll say run as you can see we get a system shell as nt authority system so if you want to understand what this module do uh, it just creates a an MSI file because uh, this module knows that if always install elevators is enabled, MSI files will be run with system privileges. So, uh, Metasploit just creates this MSI file so that uh, we can escalate our privileges to system user. So, the method is very straightforward. If you don't get a metaprinter shell and a manual shell, uh, you can just create your own MSI file by saying MSF Phenom Team Windows Metaprinter uh, Reverse TCP uh, Specify the L host and L port and then specify the sorry file extension as MSI and save it as anything blah blah MSI okay then you will just upload it to this Metaprinter shell and basically execute to run this MSI file and you can just listen on another uh, multi-handler and you'll get a system shell in any way so the method is very straightforward hope you enjoyed the video bye